Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to New Hampshire today. I am packing up all of my clothes. I just have a ton of laundry and stuff on the bed right now, trying to figure out what my outfits are going to be. I am, of course, of course, bringing my favorite pants and that'll probably be my outfit for the main day tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna overpack, I always do. We're literally, we're driving up today. We have the full day tomorrow and then we're driving home, like, Sunday morning, maybe like early afternoon. So it's really not that big of a deal, but I'm going to make it as big of a deal as possible. And then I always do, I've just had so many trips where I've packed my outfits and then gotten there and not liked anything that I had to wear. So I usually have a pile of clothes and I have like an, not an emergency bag, but like an emergency, a backup bag in my car. So I have a couple things for that, like a pair of jeans, a denim shirt, a couple like long sleeve mock neck shirts. So I'll keep that in my car. And then if I need it, I can go and get it. But so far we have the yellow pants, some leggings, and then these pants from American Eagle. The yellow pants I'm gonna wear with a brown hoodie, leggings I'm not sure and then those pants I'll probably wear with this green like quarter zip sort of thing and then for my pajamas I have I ended up getting these sweater material pajama pants oh, they're so soft and cozy and it's probably going to be very cold up there so I think these will be perfect so I'm gonna finish getting packed up I don't know if I feel like doing my makeup today I might just not. I'll definitely pack my makeup and bring it with me because I think I'll want to do it tomorrow it's like a travel day kind of we're gonna be in the car for like three hours so we are officially on the road and I want to start showing you the roads now because it's like gorgeous and still lots of like amber, orange, goldeny over here. But the further north we get, the more bare it's going to be. I'm sure it'll still be pretty up there. I feel like after the peak, like vibrant colors, everything gets very goldeny and it's like kind of like <laughs> brown and goldeny, but it still looks really pretty. But right here is a nice little stretch of the highway. These are all old magazines. K64. Wow, it's so cool, all the life magazines. It's interesting to see what's on the covers. Long hours though. The one who have to die will put the skid up breaking down or the chip up getting plugged. Sometimes I'm really like cute to bathroom though. My wife always has two kinds of meat for me. Don't you? <laughs> what the heck? Wow. Only two bucks each. It is 10.49. I actually woke up at like 7.30 today, which is very early for me. This room got like very good morning light. I feel like that's all I need. If I wanted to be a morning person, I just need to get my bedroom out of the basement. But I feel like I didn't really explain where we're staying, so it's like a ski club so there's three different floors in this building and there's all different bedrooms you bring your own like comforter and pillowcases and then like you sign up for like the weekends that you want to go with like the people that run the ski club and then you're like assigned rooms and whatnot so there are 
this is like a special weekend because there's like a beer tasting event this evening but i think there's like 28 people total that are staying in here right now uh we are on the third floor which is supposedly haunted but i also want to show you guys just like what we see looking out the window the window's not the cleanest but like the view is very gorgeous i'm definitely gonna bring my drone out at some point to get some cool mountain footage and then we're gonna go on a quick little not like quick quick but like a little walk slash scenic drive which will be very fun. The leaves, like a lot of the trees are bare here, but it's still very, very pretty. But honestly, we were just happy to come up here to relax. You and Brent and I are both like, yeah, like the beer tasting thing, maybe we'll like try one or two. Like we aren't really big drinkers. We both like brought our books and are just looking forward to relaxing up here. So if I was sitting in bed, you can see a nice little mountain view from here routes to the fire tower luckily it's gotten a little bit warmer when we woke up it was like 29 degrees i feel like the high temperatures are pretty similar to what they are back at home right now but like the low temperatures in the middle of the night get a lot colder oh wow there's like just barely a few golden -y trees two weeks ago this must have been crazy this little hill in front of us Sanderson sisters display. Um, I think they have the longest candy candy counter in the penny U.S. Candy. Penny, penny candy. Penny candy counter. Yeah. They have the longest penny candy counter <laughs> in the U.S. That'd be in the world. In the world, wow. They have a sign, so I'll definitely show you guys. And then it's just like a cute little area. I'm curious what it'll look like now that it's like not as touristy season. I feel like here tourist season obviously like the summer there's good stuff to do here and then like winter I'm sure from like January to March it gets a little crazy. However, I feel like most people are skiing so these areas might not even like get much of that rush because people are just like on the mountains. I'm excited. We'll get some candy. I'll give you a candy haul and I'm we're going to the 99 restaurants. I used to work there. It's actually where Brent and I met and I'm so excited to have their buffalo tenders. I think that's what I'm gonna get. It's what I get every single time and I'm really hungry. I didn't eat much for breakfast. Brent and I both have the same thing where some days we wake up starving, need to eat immediately. Other days like not really any appetite but that walk definitely stimulated my appetite. It's like one now, 1.30. Like look at this, there's just a little museum. Littleton Opera House Museum. That's so cool. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad, but they're actually setting up pumpkins in the water. And they're gonna light them all tonight. That's so cool. Wow, what a fun idea. Ooh, I get the rainbow ones. Star 
Barber's Pops? What? I've never seen those in my entire life. I'm gonna, I think, grab the rainbow one. Try the salted black licorice. Oh my gosh, we're doing the beer tasting right now. I just have my phone on my regular camera, but the sunset is so good. I needed to take a little video. A very detailed packing list forgot all my shower stuff <laughs> Brennan's mom also forgot her shampoo which was ironic so I only had soap to use so I just put like a bunch of dry shampoo in my hair before bed um, after I took just like a body shower so it'll be very nice to get home and take a regular shower and just wash my hair but we are just packing up Brennan just started bringing stuff down to the car we're probably gonna head out of here like an hour or so i would bet i feel like i didn't go crazy with the vlog footage but also just because we were around like a bunch of friends parents friends who oh my god they're all so so nice like every single person is just so nice uh some of the people went out and did a more like advanced hike yesterday we did more of a beginner one and we all got back this uh one of the women was like oh my god like what did you guys do how was your day like i want to hear all about it she wanted to see like our drone footage and stuff and yeah, everyone's just like super nice and comfortable to be around which is always very nice when you're on trips like this with new people i'm gonna take my invisalign out and change and all that good stuff and oh i'm so excited to vlog the drive home because it's gonna be so pretty like the first hour of it but okay i need to go do things Hello, we are officially on the road. We left like 20 minutes ago. We actually literally left at 10 on the dot without even meaning to. We, I think, are in Lincoln again. We're just grabbing some gas. We got through the prettiest part of the drive and I'm sure you can only imagine how like lush it looks in the summer and then I can't even imagine how insane it must have looked two, even three weeks ago. Because I feel like peak up here especially because you're a little not only are you more north you're a little bit more elevated too the peak is more so like first week of october whereas for back home it's like the third week of october for me down in rhode island still gorgeous no matter what time of year it is i love love being up here we might come back again in november the little ski club is having like a work cleaning weekend and we 
thought it would be a fun excuse to just like go up, help them, you know, do some deep cleaning in the little ski lodge. And then we can just like go and do some like exploring and stuff as well. But we'll see. It kind of just depends. We have a bit of like a busy rest of the year. Brendan's sister is due to have her baby in January. So we have that baby shower. We are planning his other sister's bachelorette, which won't be till March, but we're still just like trying to plan it, find Airbnb, stuff like that. We are doing two Thanksgivings, one on like actual Thanksgiving, one on Saturday. I really want to go to Florida in December. So I'm trying to like get that planned out, but we'll see if it happens. It's just my friends and I's schedules just kind of have to like match up, which isn't guaranteed, but hopefully it does happen. And I think that's it. We've got like a two, two hours and 37 minutes until we get home. And we have 99 leftovers, which I'm very excited about. That's where Brendan and I met. We met at the 99. I remember I was learning how to set a table and Brendan walked by and was like, you're doing real important stuff right here. <laughs> All right, my camera's gonna slide because we're moving. Bye. Hello. She got some toys. Hello. I love you. I missed you. Do you miss us? Do you want to smell me? I might smell a little different. Hi, Aria. I, was that a jump scare? I don't really know. <laughs> Um, I just, it's the night before Halloween, so I wanted to do something for stream, so I have, like, my little wings back here, and then, um, I just wore, like, all pink, and it was fun, it was very fun. I wanted to give you a candy haul before I ate all the candy, because I ate most of it, but I feel like I still have one of, at least, like, everything I got. I got two Dum Dum Lollipops, the mystery is left. I had the blue raspberry one. I got mini cow tails. I got dark chocolate non pharaohs. I got some gummy worms. I got mini Charleston shoes. They're so cute. And I love Charleston shoes so much. I have never seen this in my entire life. A starburst pop. Like lollipop. Never seen that before. Um, I got a couple pieces of black licorice. I love black licorice. I know a lot of people don't. Did I already say Tootsie Rolls? And then I forgot about these. These are up at the bottom. Rainbow belts. Okay, I'm gonna end off this video. Thank you so much for watching. I had to, oh my god, my mouth's watering so much. I just, <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and for staying until the end. I will definitely have lots more videos. Vlogmas will be here. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. I think it will just kind of like encourage me to plan more things and do more cute little festive things, and I'm excited for it. So thank you again for watching. I will see you in my next video. All of my other socials are linked down below if you'd like to check me out there. And I'll see you soon. Bye, friends.